market. What is up you guys? I still sound like a toad, don't judge me. But my saving grace is here. This is Janine, she's the best baker this side of the earth. I could say this side of the Mississippi, but <laughs> hey, you're much better than that. She makes awesome these. Y'all, look how cute. I don't know if you can see, but look how cute. Thanks, stage hand. Don't drop my cookies, we'll fight. <gasps> I'm delicate flower right now, you can't startle me. <laughs> Anyways, she's gonna talk our way through this because you guys remember that time that I wanted to make a mirror glaze cake and I didn't show you guys because it was so bad. I'm gonna splice in some of that into this video. You're welcome. Okay, so we have our sugar and our corn syrup and our little bit of water has come to a boil over here on the stove. And I'm gonna take it off. Like a rapid boil, right? Yeah, you want a real boil because you want that sugar to be dissolved. That's that's really the whole point of it. You're not trying to cook it down or anything. So now if you look at the your gelatin, see it has bloomed. It's like this. It's all springy. Yeah, springy. It's a gel now. So we're gonna take this out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yummy. You just made that a worse looking ingredient <laughs> by adding that sound effect. Just bloop. Yep, there we go. So, and then we're going to stir this in, let it dissolve. Oh, that's not taking long to melt in. No, there. no, it should be fine. So, and then once that's pretty much, it's almost there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, this is 150 grams, which is, what's my cups? About a half a cup of sweetened condensed milk. So this is not your evaporated milk that you put in pumpkin pie. This is milk that has been cooked down with lots more sugar. Let me get my alarm. Myth. If you haven't caught on yet, mirror glaze is really, really sweet. So I'm gonna mix that in. And then what you're gonna do next is, while this is still hot, you're gonna pour this over a bowl of, what's that, 100 and it's two, 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 200 grams. grams of white chocolate. And I'll talk about the white chocolate here in a second. So we're just gonna pour this over like Four that. Four one and a fourth cups yeah. in American. In American, I'm sorry. <laughs> in, in, in English, I should in, say. And then non-bakery science terms there. I say American, but it's so interesting that we're the only country left, like, in the universe that doesn't do metric. And this is so much easier. It really, once, once you kind of catch on to it, it's way easy. So once you pour it in, you're just going to let this sit for about five minutes, okay? And let that chocolate start to melt. Now, it's already getting gooey. Yeah, so see if you, see if you give it a little stir, we'll stir it here now and then. It's gonna melt. So we'll just leave that alone, let that take a rest. And so there's a couple different ways that you can make this. Um, some recipes swear that you should only use real chocolate. And I tend to agree. Um, I made a batch the other day, which we'll show you how that turned out in a minute, using the Ghirardelli chips. And these say classic white baking chips. These are not actually real white chocolate. And the way that you can tell is if you look at the ingredients, you wanna look for it to actually contain cocoa butter. Okay, and this one is sugar and let's see what else, palm kernel oil and some other stuff. So if it's an oil-based product, doesn't mean it's a bad product, it tastes good in cookies, it holds up really well, um, but it's not the same as a true white chocolate. So today we're using real white chocolate. This is the good stuff. I don't even wanna know how much that bag of chocolate costs. It isn't that bad. But I, I get it from a wholesale restaurant oh. supplier, so. It's a little bit different. Um, and the, this one, you'll be able to tell, it'll actually tell you what the percentages are of the cocoa, cocoa butter on there. And it will actually say in the ingredients, um, sugar, cocoa butter. So this is actually chocolate. See, when I was trying to do mine, I couldn't even find on anything where it had the quantity of cocoa butter. So that probably means it wasn't in there. Yeah, if it's not, if they don't give you the quantity, it's not in there. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> where I went wrong. Just yeah. assuming it was in there. So for today's experiment, it'll be really neat to kind of see how the consistency is different between the one made with the uh, real white chocolate versus the one made with the chips. So this is so much more relaxed than the one I did. It was very <laughs> getting dirty over here, people. Little bit 
it. All right. I've seen that people that do the dirty pours, sometimes they just do a little bit like that. Just gotta swirl it in there for some reason. How fun, it looks just like the ads. All the people that do them all the time. <gasps> Beautiful. Actually, you know, now that I've seen so many of your paintings, I'm not so obsessed with making sure that my sides are totally covered because I think it's cakes I've done. Um, I didn't like how the pork went, so I was able to let it sit and just literally peel the um, peel the glaze right back off of it. Oh, gross! This looks like something out of the next Ghostbusters movie. Right? Yeah. Action! Hey, everybody! So we have been pouring cakes here for the last, oh gosh, I don't know, half hour or so. Yep, a little bit more than that. So this is the end result. Ta-da! I don't even know what's in all these. It's gonna be a taste test yeah, extravaganza. That, that's a mystery. Every cake is gonna be a surprise now. They're all different? <laughs> They're, yeah. Oh my God. Now I'm even more excited about the adventure. Just gonna be like, I'm not touching any of those because you made them while you had the flu. But I'm basically on the mend, so. You can have your fingers in anything. That's true. I didn't poke anything. This one's so pretty. I love how those colors faded in. Yep. That one's also the biggest one. Probably my favorite one. I'm super pumped. I'm so excited that you came up here and wanted to adventure with me, even though I sound like a toad. I know it's a long drive, but I wouldn't have turned to anybody else to help me with learning how to make a mirror glaze cake. I'm gonna link at the end of this video the shenanigans from my first attempt, so don't laugh too hard at me. That was an adventure. Well, it was fun for me too. You know, I don't get to I don't get to play very often. Usually, I'm busy making birthday cakes and celebration cakes for other people. So it's fun to just to get up here and drink some wine and play with cake. And here we go. Here we are. So thank you everybody for watching and putting up with me. This is my first YouTube video, so I really appreciate everybody's patience and I talk a lot but oh, well you have to you have to yeah so no one else is gonna do it for you right so anyway so thank you everyone um uh, once again I am underground confection and I am out of Cypress Texas serving the North Houston area you can find me on Facebook at underground confection by Janine Bills and on Instagram underground confection my website will be coming soon and hopefully I'll see y'all again bye I said bye Jessica, what are you doing? I am cutting the caps off of these cupcakes so that when we put the glaze on, it will be on a flat surface. And they look like this. Nice. So I don't know if they're perfectly level. I don't, it probably matters, but um, I haven't seen anybody do this on a cupcake. I'm sure there are some, I just didn't see it. So whatever, um, we took these out of the oven and we let them chill for an hour and a half, two hours. And now that we have all these yummy little caps cut off, it's time to buttercream them. And in the directions, it gave me like instructions on how to make buttercream, however, I don't want to add a step of things that I could mess up, so we're going to just use some fluffy white icing instead. Actually, I have to like, I have to cut the cap off of this cake as well, and then we'll be ready to um, start icing. Word.